Hi, I'm Stuart Pickett, and I'm a plant ecologist at the Curie Institute, and I work on urban ecology and landscape ecology, and I'm really happy to be here at the camp today because I understand that you all might have some questions for me. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Who's got a question? Oh, you know what? I'm going to be take the easy way and hand the microphone to the closest person. <laughs> Okay, what inspired you to be a scientist? I wanted to be a scientist from a very young age, maybe just a little bit older than you all are. And it was something maybe like this, the opportunity to be out in the woods at Boy Scout camp. My father ran the Boy Scout camps in Louisville, Kentucky. And so I got to go out with him and just not do the regular Boy Scout things all the time. Sometimes I could just wander around the woods and collect salamanders and collect leaves. And I thought, this is really fun. I really liked it. And then I discovered that there was a profession that would allow me to wander around the woods and collect things and think about things and figure out what was going on. And it was called ecology. And I said, I want to be that. So that's what inspired me. Who's next? All right, now I'm going to put the microphone a little farther down so we don't miss. Yeah. Well, if you have one, go ahead, and then we'll pass it in. What? Okay, let's pick it up here. <laughs> What's your question? Or do you want to get... Well, right, let's give somebody then, another chance. See, okay. Let's further one more down. What is your favorite food? What? <laughs> what is my favorite food? Now, there's an interesting question. I love food, and I love all kinds of food. I just came back from China. I was in China for three months. It's the longest time I've ever been away from home. And so every day I'm eating Chinese food, and I really loved it. It was really fresh and really interesting. Some of it very, very spicy. Some of it more plain. Noodles, rice, bits of chicken, bits of all kinds of things. Tofu, tofu, different kinds of tofu. So I, I just love Chinese food, but there's hardly any kind of food that you can name that I don't like. Indian? What? Indian? Indian? I love Indian food. I love Indian food. Okay, who's got the next question? Do you have any siblings? I have one sibling, and he's much better in front of the camera than I am. He is four years younger than I am, and he is a blues musician. He's very different than I am. He didn't do the academic thing. He didn't really do the college thing, but he's... Um, he does other jobs, too, because you can't really support yourself being a blues musician. But that's what he loves. So that's what I'm going to call him. Have you ever been to McDonald's? <laughs> I have been to McDonald's. It is not my favorite kind of food because I must admit... I mean, I like hamburgers. I try not to eat too much red meat because at my age, it's good not to have a lot of red meat. It's also good not to have a lot of fat. And so I don't do McDonald's very much. The other thing to watch out for, and I'm going to get in trouble for this, you go to McDonald's and places like that, and they'll say, do you want the meal? And the meal is a hamburger and a soft drink and um, some french fries. That's not a meal. That's just sugar and grease and salt. The hamburger's okay. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. So I try to avoid McDonald's. What is your favorite thing to do? Oh, my favorite thing to do. I like um, a whole lot of things. I do like to travel. And this job has allowed me to, tr to travel to 21 different countries. 
And the amazing thing is that other people paid for that. So I like to go give talks and to have seminars and to meet students and to meet officials that are interested in the kind of work that I do. So traveling I really like, although I hate airplanes, but I like to be places. And other things that I like as hobbies, I like to read. I like poetry. I read novels, but I read them pretty slowly. And I love music, old, old music, like 500-year-old music, like Renaissance stuff and yes. Baroque stuff. I like the Beatles. Do you like the Beatles? Beatles? Cool. Yeah, I, I learned how to play guitar by, by playing Beatles songs. Yeah, so I like music, too. Next question. Question. Where do you live? That's top secret. No, I live in the city of Poughkeepsie. I live about 10 minutes walk from downtown Poughkeepsie, and I really like to go down there for some of the restaurants and pubs and just to walk around town. I just, I like, I like the city. So I live on Hooker Avenue in Poughkeepsie. You know where that is? No. Okay. You do. Hooker Avenue? Cool. Yeah, that's where I live. A lot of trees in my yard. Who's next? Do you speak any other languages than English? Ooh. That is a good question. I studied German in high school for three years, and so that means I can get around on public transportation in Germany, and I can order meals in restaurants, and I can ask them, after I've had a lot of good German beer, I can ask them where the facilities are. But I can't really have a useful conversation in German. And then in college, I studied Russian for two years, and that's just completely gone. Um, so this time that I was in China, I thought, oh, Chinese is so hard. I don't think I can learn Chinese. I took a few little lessons, and it's and I was right. It's very hard, and I can't learn Chinese. So I have to do in English. But fortunately, right now, the language of science around the world is English. So I can I can get by. I can listen to a little Spanish sometimes and understand what the conversation is about, but I never studied Spanish. What? Muy bien, gracias. Tú? Cool. Next question. Okay, it looks like we're done with questions. I really appreciate your interest and your good questions. It was fun to talk with you, so... Thanks.